Okay, we'll start here. This is our loss of illusion one at the beginning, which has a scale and a shimmer line. And then in today's episode, we went ahead and added shimmer lines to the cadences over here. All the way through. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 52, Loss of Illusion. We entered by reflecting that illusion the word includes the root for play to play at or to dispel illusions or to play at fooling our senses or to lose false perceptions there's a whole rich thing there we have it down here loss of illusion is gain in awareness contradictory views are necessary strive for synthesis play to contend, to give birth, is born, to let, to throw, to publish, to set in motion. So it's a very rich meme. We also began working with images. In addition to researching quotes on illusion, we found two images that we're really tickled by. The first one is a veil over woman, this illusion, loss of illusion. And the second one is this like dots among the crowd is what we call this because sometimes you feel all by yourself when you're in the middle of a crowd which seems like the illusion of being in a crowd or sometimes in your crowd and have this illusion that you are all by yourself so we got some uh, images and then we also returned to our animation and we began animating um, further animating the loss of illusion one but that's not all we also went back to the loss of illusion and made uh, a second version where we took the backbones and compressed them so here's the backbone twice as fast And then here's four times as fast, and this really catches our interest. Because it has syncopation, and then for grins we went eight times as fast. So that's interesting. So our, our ideas are to take some compressed backbones and maybe overlay them on the original and or other ideas. But you can almost see that really fast version moving from slower to faster. So we're kind of trying to evoke ideas from vision and hearing together. I'm not sure. And this is usually an overlay where you might overlay the fast stuff on the slower stuff. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play one, version one, uh, as is, showing you our current iteration of the animation. And the, the purple needle is the cadences, and the bluish needle you'll start to see is the, um, the shimmer. And you'll see why we call that shimmer.
So that ends today's stream. What we like about it, a couple things. We're really noticing the visual RO interplay, um, the purple bang bang of the of the cadence piano, and then the shimmer shimmer of the contrabass shimmer. Um, but we're also cueing them visually. For example, the purple is being driven dark uh, when it gets loud, and then it dies dies away. The cadence is here, and the uh, blah, 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 here the color. We're driving it the brightness down when it gets loud, and then as it eases up, it gets visible again. So so there's this interplay between. Um, well, between the upper and lower parts, which is visually doing something that matches what's happening over here. So one of our intriguing reflection questions that we ask ourselves is um, we can focus on watching and we can focus on listening. Can we do both? So when we look at this, can we do both watch it and hear it at the same time? And can they complement each other? So that's really kind of what we're looking for here. So that concludes today's stream. Shout outs to Silent Lurker, Miss Cleo, and Methodic Innovator. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>